What's going on guys, JP here, and this is going to be day 6 in my 31 Days of Horror video series for the month of October. Um, 31 horror movies, 31 days, 31 videos. It's been going good. I uh, watched Cabin in the Woods for day 5. I had a ton of fun with that one. I, I had a good time talking about it. If you missed that one, definitely check it out. I'll have a link somewhere. Um, you know, if you're worried about spoilers, if you haven't seen it, I don't, I don't spoil the movie, so, you know, anyway, uh, moving on to my pick, I decided to go with a film that came out in 1999, and it is House on Haunted Hill. Um, now House on Haunted Hill, I do remember liking from when I was a kid, um, you know, it's been forever since I watched it, though, um, and, uh, I, I barely remember much, you know, I remember it was pretty scary, I think. And, um, you know, I'm really interested to see if it holds up because, uh, you know, sometimes when you watch a movie when you're a kid uh, and you then you watch it again later, it isn't as good as you remembered it. Sometimes it was a bad movie all along. Um, sometimes, you know, it was good. So, um, you know, it, I'm interested to see if, you know, my uh, kid side was right about this one. Um, it is a remake of the Vincent Price House on Haunted Hill, which, um, I, I don't think I've ever actually seen all the way through. Um, so I definitely want to check that out one day, too. Um, it does come with, uh, Return to House on Haunted Hill. It's a double feature here. I just picked it up recently. Pretty cheap. So, um, if all goes well and I like the first one, I might pick the second one as an, uh, another day in the 31 Days of Horror. So, uh, that's my pick, guys. Uh... You know, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, guys, I just finished House on Haunted Hill. I gotta make this one quick. I still gotta get it ep up edited and uploaded uh, before I leave. I'm cutting it kind of close. So, House on Haunted Hill came out in 1999. Uh, it follows a group of people invited to a house that's supposedly haunted. It's on a hill, um, kind of a cliffside. Uh, they're invited there by a guy by the name of Price, who's a millionaire theme park owner. Uh, Price, obviously, not the Vincent Price. Um, he, he invites them there kind of as like a, you know, trick on his wife or whatever. Um, him and his wife doesn't get along very well. The, he offers the people a million dollars to anybody could, who could stay in the house overnight. And, uh, you know, if they all don't make it, whoever's left gets, uh, the you know, their money divided up or whatever. Um, the movie was pretty okay, you know, I liked it, but there was some problems with me, for me, I thought that some of the, uh, acting was a little bit, some of the performances at times didn't feel, uh, very good, uh, another thing, it seemed like there was a bit of plot holes, um, you know, kind of dumb characters sometimes doing things they shouldn't be doing, um, there, it, the story there, before the story there was a, uh, it was like an insanitarium or whatever for the criminally insane, um, and, you know, that was located in the basement, and the basement's really creepy, you got medical stuff everywhere, um, so it kind of has a little bit of a backstory, uh, another thing to me, it felt like they was trying to do too much with the story, I think a little bit simpler of a story would have worked, uh, better, it feels a little bit mashed together, and, um, I, I, I don't know, it could have been better in my opinion, um, there is some creepy moments, some scary stuff, I remember it being a lot scarier when I was younger, um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the best part to me is probably the, the basement, this, the, the way it looks, you know, the, um, design of it. Uh, I thought that it looked pretty good, you know, scary, like, um, you know, creepy basement stuff and, uh, you know, medical stuff laying everywhere, a lot of creepy, well-designed rooms. Um, you know, that was cool. Uh, although it, it seemed like some of the characters just wanted to keep going down into the creepy ass basement. Uh, even though they knew it was a creepy ass basement and there was, you know, peace, people possibly dying. Um, overall, I enjoyed it enough. Uh, you know, it was, I, I think, it, I felt like it could have been a lot better. Um, another thing, I thought the end, I didn't really like the ending too much. Um, not the very ending, but like, you know, the, the, the ending in a whole, whatever happens towards the end, I, I really didn't like too much. Um, I would give this movie probably a 3 out of 5. It's worth a look. Um, you know, it's it's good to an extent. Uh, it could have been better. Um, but, 
yeah, that's my that's my mini review, guys. Uh, sorry, I didn't go too far into it, but like I said, I gotta get this done. See you guys in day seven, I think. So later.